okay we will do a patch with the return value so i added this id from the list settings so we can see the uh, value of the id so i added this and made it the first column of the list so now we can see the id title and score okay so first we will add the data connection to the SharePoint our site and choose the list connect now I will put one label to return the ID and two text box one for the name and another one for the score okay and a button to save so when this button is clicked we will put this code here and this code yeah it's it creates a variable results patch the the data set student score patch this uh, data source with all the defaults title from here score from here exactly the same except that we are using a set so set will uh, get the uh, value it will assign the value of the of the returned complete record into this variable so we can put here we can assign the variable result dot id so we can get the ID of the record that was stored. Let's run test and see. We'll put name 01, score as 50, 11. Let's see if it comes here. If not, we'll go. Ah. Then we name 02. Let's give him score 55. And 12, the value returned is 12. So what was the ID of the stored data that we can get from this by assigning the variable to this data returned from the patch so patch returns a result set remember this this is a record and variable uh, result holds can hold many value you know, it can hold it can this result is a complete record of the item that was stored in SharePoint so you can even bring the created by created by so let's run oh, 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 oh. one second one second get by dot display name because that itself is a record display name Ta -da. okay now zero three we will give him mark 60 and save of course it's saved by me so nothing different so like this you can get the value returned from the patch and we can use it to display the information of the record that was stored in the sharepoint list bye bye